Hi, Steve with Texas Know How here again. And I just got introduced to a couple of uh, uh, Skim Doctors 2.0s. Okay, I got these in the mail. I'm really excited to try them out. I've had them for about two weeks now. I wanted to give them a good run, a good test to see how well they work before I made this video. Basically what this is, is on your returns, you usually have a skimmer. And everybody's skimmers look pretty much like this, okay? These are your average normal skimmers that collect um, all the debris. Um, well, you use your existing skimmer and you add this little contraption up here called the Skim Doctor. And there's a, I think this is a second edition, so this is a 2.0. And what this does is it creates this rate of flow that is really outstanding, okay? Um, let me give you an example here. Come on over here. We'll come to my second skimmer. I have two skimmers. I have one on this end and I have one on this end, okay? I purposely um, used a normal skimmer on one side and then this Skim Doctor 2.0 on this side, and I gave it about two weeks. And I wanted to see uh, which one collected more debris, and I have to say, in the end, the Skim Doctor 2.0 did collect more debris than the average skimmer on the other side. Okay, so I gave it a good test run, and so I can honestly say that these things work pretty well. Okay, so come on in here and take a look here. This is it in action, okay? You can actually see the rate of flow in here. It is really intense and it really creates a lot of pressure and brings all the debris into this area. Um, it is a adjustable, okay, you can open it up all the way or you can close it, okay? And this is what's called the, uh, the, uh, the well, if you're a physicist, you've probably heard of it before, but it's called the Bernoulli effect, okay? I've never actually heard of it before, but really the physics principle behind it is if you have a big rate of flow such as this, you create more pressure. If you have a slower rate of flow, a more narrow rate of flow, it creates a higher pressure, so they kind of work against each other. Let me give you an example. Come up here and let me, let me see me. Here in Texas, we have one of the greatest rivers ever that you can go tubing down and have a good time down. It's called the Guadalupe River in the Texas Hills Country some of the most beautiful area in the world. What you want to do is you go down this tubes, these inner tubes in this nice, cool, frigid water and relax for several hours as you float. When the river is wide, it floats very slowly. But as it narrows down, what happens is it starts getting more uh, ferocious and it gets really actually kind of dangerous because the rate of flow is narrowing and it's increasing the water's rate of flow, okay? so. It's a, uh, it, this, this is this in, a, in effect, okay? So let me just uh, excuse myself for a second, get the average skimmer, and I'll just show you what you do. Okay, in the box is the Skim Doctor 2.0, okay? I purposely did not install this one because I wanted to give a, uh, I wanted to give it a test. So I'll go ahead. And open up the box for you to show you what's in there okay basically you're gonna have some plastic nuts some safety caps hardware to prevent rust and that's what it looks like inside right here you getting that mm -hmm. okay so we have this in here so it's prop it's packaged nice and neat comes with some directions and it comes basically in four pieces okay you have your top half right here that sits on top of your old strainer okay mm -hmm. You have your nuts and bolts, okay, that fit into the eyelets right here. Okay, as you notice here, you want to go from the bottom, put it through the strainers, and you kind of have to eyeball it and adjust it as needed, okay, because everybody's strainers might be somewhat a little bit different, okay, design. And you come up through it, through the top of the eyelets, and put your nuts down, and then put your safety caps on top, okay? The hardest part about this, and it's really not that hard, is just getting these two pieces together. They're made out of plastic, so you want to be careful. That's why I'm saying it's a little bit difficult, because you don't want to crack or break them. Once you put them together, these will form a disc. You put this on top, and as you see, you match up the holes so that your screws can go in, okay? And then you set it up on top of here, put your screws in, put your nuts on, and put your plastic safety caps on, and then you're done. You don't ever take it apart again. And when you're done, you'll have this, okay? You decide on the rate of flow you want, okay? Remember, the more narrow, the greater a force of water it is pushed through. The more wider it is, such as this, the less force is put through. Let me just give you an example again. 
here we have our old strainer. And let me put this in here. You just dip that in there. And as you see here, water is coursing through, okay? And it's collecting. But it's really not, you know, there's not, not a lot of force of water that you see here. Nothing's really channeling through. Let's go ahead and take this out. I'm going to place this right in there. And the top's going to sit up, kind of like a little chimney stack sitting up above the water. And as you see here, we got some debris in there. It's already coming in that wasn't there when the other one was in. And I'm going to just narrow it down and look at that force of flow. That is beautiful. That's beautiful. That's going to get out your weed grass clippings, okay? That's going to get out leaves. That's going to get out bugs quicker out the pool. So when your friends come over, you're not all embarrassed, okay? So take a look there. It's doing a good job. I'm going to keep it just like that. I'm going to cover this baby up and let it do its job in privacy because it gets a little shy sometimes. All right. So, like Chief Brody said, we're going to need a bigger boat. But in this case, I needed a better skimmer or a bigger skimmer. Skimmer is the same size, but bigger in performance. Steve with Texas Know How. Hopefully this is informative to you. And uh, look forward to uh, introducing some more videos here real soon. Have a good one.